dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world i crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you the array on okakanfo of yoruba land iba gani abiodun adams has berated the federal government over the increase in the price of petrol as well as electricity tariff. Adams, in a statement by his media aide, Kehide Aderemi, said the federal government had shown its insensitivity to the plight of Nigerian masses with the increment, especially at this time when many people had lost their jobs and businesses and were facing hard times he said covid 19 and the closure of borders since last year had paralyzed many businesses and sent many out of their jobs saying the hike in the prices of basic things like petrol would have leave much more difficult for an average nigerian he said it is unfortunate that the federal government has failed in its responsibility to the ordinary Nigerians. The hardship of this unprecedented increase in transportation and electricity tariffs will, for a long time, affect the people of this country. This is not the kind of change we expected from a government that rolled to power with very much hope and expectations from Nigerians. And rather than cushioning the effect of this outrageous increase, the federal government decided to look the other way. With this sudden increase, the price of every commodity will definitely hit the rooftops. And this is uncalled for particularly at a time like this, when the world is still battling with the COVID-19 in purse. Electricity is life. I know how much I pay daily as tariff on electricity. So how, how do you think an ordinary Nigerian citizen could cope with the sudden increase? It is killing and the federal government must desist from embarking on policies that are capable of destroying the trust reposed in it by the people. The timing for the sudden increase is wrong. It is ill-timed. However, we strongly appeal to President Muhammad Buhari and the National Assembly to reverse the price in the interests of the masses of the people. In another news, the Director of Program Center for Sustained Dialogue, Comrade Wahid Saka, has described the dual approval of new electricity tariff and increment in pump price of petrol as the highest level of insensitivity and wickedness from President Muhammad Buhari led APC government. According to Saka, everything about the new tar tariff regime speaks about how insensitive and wicked the leaders of this country has become even in a democracy. How on earth will anybody happily approve a new tariff regime and increment in pump price of petrol at a time our people are still languishing in pain and pang triggered by lockdown due to COVID-19 pandemic. How on earth will successive leaders of our nation kowtow to the World Bank through IMF directives without due diligence on the negative impact of on the negative impact such directive will have on the citizen of this country? He asked rhetorically. The activist stated that the distribution companies who failed in their responsibility to meter all households 
despite the outcry of the people, will now have presidential backing to further exploit the people through the evil, insensitive, and wicked increase in tariff. On the incident increase in petrol price since the end of lockdown, Sakar argued that the government has shown that the only time our government is enforcing any policy is when the policy is against the masses. And we cannot have a stabilized economy when we continue to increase the foil, the foil at every slight opportunity to satisfy external influence rather than our people. Nigeria and Nigerians deserve better. This government promised better and constant supply of electricity. They promised no more queues. They promised more refineries, which will lead to low pump price. But it is unfortunate we will now pay more for darkness. We will not pay more for pump price of petrol. It is a sorry turn of events for a government that promised so much, but given ordinary citizen many reasons to gnashing their teeth due to untold pains and pangs. The activist submitted. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? This is not the change we expected. This is not the change we voted for. So it is what it is, guys. A lot of people are beginning to feel the impact of the uh, decisions, policies of the government of President Muhammad Buhari and the APC. And it is beginning to show forth at this time. Now, they don't care. Don't forget that this is his last term as president. So he probably does not care what anybody thinks, how people think, or what people say. All they are after is the money they want to make. And they are after the money they will make because this is the last term of the president, as it were. So guys, be that as it were, what do you think could be the issue and how can this problem be solved? The APC government is looking the other way not caring about the plight of the people and what the people are complaining talking about or what they will be suffering as it were well let's take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it were i respect buhari before but now he knows nothing honestly says this person posky says may god in heaven judge them let the element go cause no future for the youth. Another person says this Buhari's government is the worst in Nigerian history. How can you increase fuel and electricity on the same day? Ordinary Ghana are maltreating Nigerians in the country and he is still making life difficult for the common man. What a heartless man. Guys, do you agree with this opinion? Abraham Owolabi says, senseless and cruel government. Well, it is what it is, guys. Another person says, hmm, him no send now. If we talk, DSS is just around the corner. So let's keep quiet and enjoy the remaining three years you people voted for. Well, for how long are we going to be quiet is the issue. Well, another person says, there are other taxes that citizens are paying that they ought not to. God will punish those inflicting hardship on the Nigerian citizens. Another person, Anonymous, says, Past regime and present regime, can we now know the best and the worst? Obesco says, Welcome to your next level. Silvanos Charlie says, I am surprised that people are still supporting the insensitive government. Well, Definitely, even the devil has has supporters. So what do you expect? But it is really, really sad that this is how things have actually turned. And uh, it is just unfortunate. And that says, APC downfall. These people are wicked and evil. Well, it is what it is. John Jameson Jude says, unrepentantly hostile. All this government have to offer her citizens its hardship from the inception up till date. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? 
Well, it is what it is. Kindly drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I will see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.